The landing rehearsal was nearly complete. All that remained was to separate from the descent stage of the LEM and fly back to the command module. Stafford began resetting the controls, unaware that Cernan had done exactly the same thing. And I had all the switches set in time instinctively, as we will do. We'll reach over there and, uh, and change the position of the guidance switch, because he knew it had to be changed to AGS. Well, I'd already changed it to AGS. And so when it fired, it was on a primary guidance system, and the primary guidance system didn't know where to tell it to go. So we did separate and spun out of control. The thing was tumbling and rolling all over the place. And they were really in, in trouble, and, and there was quite a few expletives broadcast to the world audience um, before they got it back under control. It was a pretty crazy moment. I remember seeing a lunar horizon go by in different directions about eight times in some 15 seconds. Tom took it back from the computer, got it on the control. We gave it back to the abort guidance system. We got the burn on time when we rendezvoused, and everything turned out all right. It was later determined that the lander had come within two seconds of crashing into the lunar surface before Stafford and Cernan regained control.